My tip for you guys is concerning the diet end of the equation, and that is to be organic as fuck. Pick foods that are nutrient dense, whole food sourced, and clean in nature. And when I say clean, I don't mean Windex. I mean the types of foods that you know, you and I both know, and your mom knows that you should be eating. At least my mom knows, that's how I grew up. I'm talking about the sweet potato, the brown rice, the broccoli, the salmon. All the things that you know inherently are the healthy food choices. Do we argue that you can fit your macros and as long as it adds up at the end of the day, get results in terms of losing body fat? Absolutely not. We know that this is true. The laws of thermodynamics do apply. But if you want to perform at your best, if you want to feel your best, not just physically but mentally, and be in this for the long run, you're gonna, you're gonna pick the food sources that not only meet your goals macronutrient-wise, but also micronutrient-wise. And that's what I mean when I say to be organic as fuck. Diet and training tips. The top tip I have for you today, grind. Year after year after year, day after day, you gotta go at it, you gotta go at it hard and consistently. People come at me like, hey, I've been going at this for two months, I'm not seeing any gains in my chest. I've been going at this 21 years and I'm still making gains. At the end of the day, you need to look at yourself and realize this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. You can't get it done overnight. You can't expect to gain 10 pounds of lean mass overnight. You're lucky to gain. You're lucky to gain two to three pounds a year of lean mass and that's a good, good year. Think about it. You do that for 10 years, that's 20 pounds of lean mass minimum. So at the end of the day, you can look at yourself and say, hey, I think I'm going hard this week. I think I went hard for the last two weeks. But you need to get in there, you need to grind every day, year after year. And guess what? Treat every body part like it's your weak point. Why? Because then you'll have no more weak points. You might have body parts that grow better than the other, it might be genetic. But at the end of the day, if you go in there and you set short and long-term goals, you meet them, you beat them, you set new short and long-term goals, you will make gains. So stop looking at this thing like, Oh, here's my one week plan. It seems to be a lifetime plan. That's not a game. All right, guys. Training tip number one. Crush it. Intensity is key. You know, so many people get wrapped up in different training programs and they're wondering, do I need to train three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, every other day, push, pull, uh, one single body part splits. But the thing that most people are, are missing out on is intensity. You know, they go to the gym and they go through the motions. They're sitting there texting their friends, you know, emailing their mom, and they're not focusing on pushing it to the limits in the gym. I mean, can you honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, every time I go to the gym, I totally crush it. And if you can't say that, then you need to step up your game. You know, you should be walking out of the gym fully exhausted, knowing that you gave it your all in the moment in the gym. So guys, remember, always crush it.